Hey guys, SimCoder here, and today we are going to learn how we can calculate the, the rating of a driver uh, in no time. So I'm going to pop up the database here and I'm going to show you what we need to do. So in here I mean the driver uh, child, and as you can see we have the rating uh, child that we did in the previous lesson. If you haven't checked it out, please do now. And as you can see, and you have probably guessed it already, we only have to uh, loop through these uh, childs here and just do an average. So um, with a, a simple four, we can actually achieve this. So let's get right on with it and grab, not this one, this one, grab the, the Android project. And the, first of all, let's go inside the activity customer map dot XML and add the um, the rating bar to the driver uh, layout so when you make a request and you find the driver that layout pops up as you can remember and that layout is let me just find it this one okay the driver info layout I was forgetting his name so yeah we only have to add a rating bar at the end so rating bar You're going to make it wrap content, wrap content, give it an ID of rating bar, gravity center as always, <coughs> num oops, I'm going to set the number of stars to five, and this time instead of setting the step size to one which will allow us to only set the, the rating to 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5 I'm actually going to, uh, to set it to 0 0.1 because we are doing an average and because of that it is nearly impossible if you are dealing with a great number of uh, childs that it will give a, a, a whole number it will most likely be decimal so let's set the step size to 0 0.1 Okay, now that that's uh, said and done, let's go inside the customer map activity, go up top and add the rating uh, bar object. So, rating bar, my rating bar, and make sure to import rating bar with alt enter import class, and let's add the find view by ID. Or find view by ID as always dot rating bar okay so now that we are all said and done we can actually go ahead and calculate uh, the rating that we are getting so let's go ahead and scroll down to get driver info because that's where we want to be and it is all the way down here I'm going to delete this because it is not for now okay so, um, the way you are going to do this is by making a loop uh, between childs. So, let's say if... Uh, actually not, let's do it a different way. So, for data snapshots child two points uh, data snapshots dot child rating dot get children and what's uh, as you uh, um, mm -hmm. okay so just one one thing I I changed because this was in a map uh, all these variables but they they you can leave them be uh, it is only important that the rating child is not in a map and the reason being because we are going to loop through the children uh, which is much much easier to do in a data snapshot so don't worry about this at top but leave the map be if you are using a map as I was previously but for this one make sure you are using the data snapshot as it is really easier so now let's calculate the the sum of all the ratings 
and for that we need an integer uh, rating sum and set it to zero and also int the, we must know the total number of, of ratings in order to do a, an average so ratings total equal to zero as well so for the rating sum we are simply not this one but we are simply going to say rating sum equals to rating sum plus integer dot value of child dot get value dot to string and um, I don't know if you understood this for so because of that I'm going to explain to you so these uh, for basically loops through the rating and goes uh, let me grab the database again and goes through the first one and it gives uh, passes this child on to this, va this variable child and when that's done it loops through for uh, to the second one and pass this child to this variable child and so on and so forth and because of that we are able to go through everything that we need and yeah it is a really simple solution to this problem and now we simply add ratings total we increment that uh, and that's done so now all that's left is to calculate the average and to actually uh, uh, in place them uh, that average in the um, the star rating bar so average if rating uh, total given from nil then we say rating average equals to and it will be set to float not int equals to rating sum divided by rating total and now we set the rating bar m rating bar set rating to the rating average and that should give us uh, the rating of the the customer so that's all let's uh, run and see if uh, everything checks out Okay, so I finished debugging and I finished uh, compiling and just make sure you change the rating total to a float instead of an int because uh, in the division, the division, division, <laughs> okay, so in the division, uh, if you have two ints, um, then it will spit out an int and not a, a float. So yeah, with that being done, let's go ahead and open up uh, the emulators. Let me just grab the database so that you can see. And so what we are expecting from this is two and two, four, six, six divided by four is 1.5. Okay, so we want one star and a half to be uh, colored. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and open up the, the, the emulators, call Uber. And yeah, as you can see, everything checks out. It is exactly what we need. And yeah, that's that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, that's all for today. I don't know wh where we are going to go from from here. I, I I'm trying to get payments to work, but I'm I'm still a bit lost on that. So if you have a suggestion, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be more than glad to hear from you and what you think is the best course of action to take to get the payments to work so yeah but that's all for now i hope this was uh, informative so yeah hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao